amigos, and welcome to the tutorial on how to install Pixelmod mod on Minecraft. Anyways, so you want to open up your browser. Um, this is Pix uh, PikaCity.com. Um, I noticed when I first got on here, I clicked the install Pokeball. It wasn't really an install Pokeball, it was just what they had back then, the install thing. So anyways, when I clicked on it, this would come up. Um, so yeah, that's not obviously a tutorial on how to install Pixelmon, so that's why I thought about making this. It was on my to-do list, um, but I thought it might actually be educational. Anyways, moving on. So what you want to do? So what you want to do is go on Google, type in Pixelmon, and it should be right there. So I already have it open. Um, it should be the downloads page. Uh, that'll be the description below all the download pages. You know, for people who are lazy and don't want to do it themselves. So what you want to do is download Pixelmon 3.4. Not .40, not .40.1. You want it 3.4. Now, you can open up this forge link right here. Okay? After that's done, you should be with this little add file, um, add, you're gonna pick s skip add, and then this should appear, I already downloaded it, alright, so, that should be done, if it doesn't work, and it says you don't have your cookies enabled, just reload the page, that should solve the problem, then, you're gonna go back to this, and you go to download, right here, it's right by the change log, which is right by the forge link, and it's gonna be the current pixel mod, you can click that, this is going to come up, again, same thing with the ad, click skip after you waited, you want to leave page, yes. And then in the very middle, it's going to have the download link, like these right here, you, you don't want that, no, this poop, get that out of here, you want, you want this one right here, alright, alright, this should be the download page, um, so yeah. I've already downloaded it, but once you download it, it might take a couple of minutes, it's like about almost 200 megabytes, almost. Anyways, once we're done with that, uh, you got all the files, you get the forge, and you got the pixel mod. Um, alright, so get out of there. Alright, so once you have them all downloaded, here they are, here are all the mobs. I just have some extra ones, I got Ray's mini-maps, and I got Optifine, because I like it nice and clean. Um, I'm also having a, I'm gonna put a texture pack if you want that too. I don't know, it's really up to you. It's a good texture pack, my friend showed it to me on the server. I liked it, so, yeah. Alright, so what you want to do, you want to open up Minecraft, obviously. Alright, so once Minecraft is up and running, you're gonna want to, um, go to your profile, edit it, and make sure it's on 1.7.10, okay? Just like that alone, and you're gonna play it. And then after that, once it's fully up, like you can click the single player, multiplayer, the option buttons, all that stuff. Just X out of Minecraft, and then you're gonna wanna click. So once it's done, um, you know, doing that, you know, make sure everything's good. Alright, so just quit it, and then just double click to the fortunes. Alright, so you want to install client, not the server, not extract. That is only for different situations. You're only doing this so you can join a server, I presume. Alright, so click OK. 
It's going to be downloading everything from Forge, so it might take a minute or two, depending on your computer and your internet speed. Okay, so once it's done, you're going to click OK. Alright, then you're going to re-upload Minecraft like so. Alright, so uploaded. I mean, okay, so once it's launched, the Minecraft... Okay, so once the Minecraft launcher is up, you're going to want to go to Forge Profile, right here. You're going to click this down arrow, then you're going to go to Forge. Okay, after that, you're going to make sure it's on Minecraft 1.7.10 Forge 10.13. blah blah blah. Now hit the play button. Alright, once your Minecraft is finally launched, you should see this new edition of mods. Click that. All right, now everything's loaded. All right, so what you want to do, you got two options from here. You can go to uh, search or run and do percent app data and press OK. Well, for some reason it doesn't work for me. I really don't know why. Anyways, um, the way I do it is usually I go to resource packs and just open up the resource folder pack. And if you, you really don't know how to do it on that, it's pretty easy. I don't know why people do that. And you just gotta click Minecraft or the back button, and then you're up there. So go to your mods, and these files, right here, you're just gonna uh, select them and drag them in here. Alright, so now they're in. For the, um, uh, the resource pack, you're just gonna the one that I showed you, you're just going to drag it in there and put it in there. Alright, it should be that easy too. So once you're done with that, you're going to exit out of this and then you're going to restart Minecraft again. I know, it's a bummer. Alright, so once it's up and loaded, click the mod folder one more time and if you've done it correctly, you have Optify and as well, the Pixelmon and as well raise mini maps if you decided to get those. I personally like using them. Alright, and also to get the texture pack or the resource pack, I keep tech I keep calling it texture pack for some reason. Anyway, um I downloaded these uh, let's see. I think it's this one. Anyways, cop it in there. Alright, so it should be in here now. Just press it because I like this one. So anyways, uh, once that's done, just click the done button, see? It's all fancy-like. Um, okay, it's just Pika City. Alright, so, PikaCity.com. Did you get that? Join. Quickly say, hi guys. Say hi to YouTube. Yeah, it's pretty face. <laughs> ah, they actually die. Right, so you're good. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. And. Give me a comment down below if you have a question, if it's not working. And if we get five likes, that'd be awesome. Anyways, adios amigos.